actions we take at this moment will affect everything and everyone on this earth, even centuries from now. We have the ability to destroy our world and our own species if we give in to superstitions, ignorance, and self-indulgence. Welcome back. Uh, question. Have any of you, any of you, uh, seen The Rise of Skywalker? <laughs> I can't say it without laughing. Have, has, has any... <laughs> Welcome back. Now, by a show of hands, by a show of hands, please tell me who here spent their hard-earned money on The Rise of Skywalker this weekend. Anybody? Oh, sir. Yes. Oh, you're just scratch. Oh, it's an itch. Okay, got it. Got it. Well, keep your hand down if you're just just scratch after we do the tally. Look, the movie was so bad that the Mandalorian actor from Episode Five. Remember the guy who uh, teamed up with the Mandalorian to go find the Asian woman? Uh, it was like a hit, and he was trying to get into the guild. Well, that actor, the one who had one scene, uh, one episode, actor Jake Cannavale saw The Rise of Skywalker on Thursday evening and posted his reaction to his Instagram story the following morning. So he actually sat down, slept on it, and decided, yep, it's a good idea to post this. You know, like when you have an initial reaction to something, it's usually like very like abrupt and like you want to just voice your opinion. But the dude slept on it, okay? This guy slept on this and then posted the next morning. Uh, he admitted that he was still mad from seeing Star Wars, the Star Wars movie, and went to say, says The Rise of Skywalker is the worst Star Wars movie, period. That's right, it, it, in quotes, period. The 24-year-old actor was recently added into the official canon when he appeared in the fifth episode of the hit Disney Plus series as a rookie bounty hunter, Toro Calican. As for the fifth, or sorry, as for the final installment in the sequel trilogy, fans have been divided, as have critics when taking a look at what J.J. Abrams decided to do when uh, trying to tie everything up. At first glance, the reaction seems to be a complete opposite of what happened in The Last Jedi, with critics hating it and most fans loving it. Because if you're not familiar, The Last... Blah, the Last... Blah, the Last... Blah, the Last Jedi... Whew. The Last Jedi was uh, loved by the critics. Loved. And uh, the... the uh, Rise of Skywalker is hated by the critics, um, and it's funny because the uh, the, the last Jedi was um, thumbs down by the audience, like a forty something percent, and it held a ninety one percent audience rating. But it appears there are some shenanigans going on because the uh, audience rating is uh, now in the eighties for the Rise of Skywalker. And it's definitely not uh, an 80% movie. Anyway, let's continue. The Rise of Skywalker was hands down the worst Star Wars movie ever. An absolute fucking failure. Rise of Skywalker, by the way, dumbass title, was worse than Phantom Menace and Last Jedi combined. <gasps> End quote. That was all in quotes. He said that. Some freshman, uh, freshman rookie uh, Star Wars actor who just landed the role of a lifetime is now trashing the same universe that he is now part of. Either he's got balls or he's got balls. And I want to touch him. Whew. He then goes in another tweet, fight me. <laughs> That's it. He just says, fight me. So he's um, for sure upset about this. 
Obviously, Jake Cannavale's comments on the Rise of Skywalker struck a nerve with some Star Wars fans. With that being said, the director's wannabe bounty hunter guild member Toro Calican is now dead, so he won't be coming back to the franchise anytime soon. Which is probably why he said that, because he knew he was done. So why not just rip him a new asshole? I mean, why not let your true freak flag fly? Your true feelings? Um, when asked if he would have felt differently about the latest movie if he hadn't been in it, Cannavale doubled down on his criticism. You can read what he had to say below. Honestly... I think I'd be more mad. Obviously, I can't speak on behalf of the cast. I mean, to some actors, this is just a job. And they're just maybe, you know, happy to be uh, working and getting paid. To which I say, more power to them. Also, maybe they fucking love Star Wars. The new Star Wars, anyway. In which case, that's fucking dope. Uh, that they got to work on something they truly got to enjoy. But personally... I've been a huge fan of Star Wars since I was a kid, and this is just a tragedy. End quote. He continues to say, And I felt pretty let down by this overall laziness of this new trilogy, and also a bit angry at the uh, entitlement of it for pretty much seizing control of the franchise as a whole by basically saying, nah, we don't like the ending that everybody's been cool with for decades. Let's just change it. Let's just change the decade that everyone loved. Let's just, let's just uh, redact all of that and just re rewrite it. Because it doesn't matter. Because that's the patriarchy. And the patriarchy is so last year. 2020 is all about the matriarchy, baby. It's all about women and feminism. He continues to say, <clears throat> I personally would feel pretty depressed if I was in the new Star Wars movie, as a main character, I mean. If I was the dude wearing an alien puppet or whatever, I'd be fucking stoked. But still. But still. These are some pretty harsh words from the Rise of Skywalker. For the Rise of Skywalker. <clears throat> but Jake Cannavale is not alone. There are many Star Wars fans who feel the same way due to the seemingly haphazard way the story has been put together. A lot of it is just, uh, basically it just doesn't make any sense. And J.J. Abrams really doesn't feel like explaining anything this time around. He just kind of goes for it. Which will get turned into a comic book at some point down the road to explain all the little details that we missed. As for the Star Wars fans, they're just happy that the franchise is continuing no matter the quality... Who the fuck wrote this article? Who? Seriously. As for the Star Wars fans, they're just happy that the franchise is going to continue no matter the quality. No matter the quality. Fuck you. Who? I hate fake news. But basically, in a nutshell, uh, this kid from episode uh, 5 of The Mandalorian was my uh, least favorite character of the show so far. He annoyed me. He had this pretentious little... He had like this L.A street rap, street rat wannabe vibe, you know, he just had this little weaselly scoundrel, I just didn't like him, but now, now, now I like him, this guy, this kid's making some sense, he's only 24 years old, but this motherfucker's taking some risks, he's taking jabs at the hand that feeds, Literally, Disney Star Wars just gave him a fucking canon role in one of their biggest shows of all time. And he just said that the Rise of Skywalker sucked donkey dick and ball. So, I'm going to have to trust him. Yep, I know, right? It's just like, it's. I love it when people just tell the truth. He just said it like it was. It's just He just tells it like it is. Anyways, 